there's a titanic battle for the hearts and minds, and cash, of Australia's ravenous small SUV buyers. In 2017, over 104,000 compact SUVs rolled out of dealer showrooms and into the garages of their new owners. Sadly, only 567 of those sales were accounted for by this French duo. The polarizing Citroen C4 Cactus only found 190 new homes in 2017, while Renault's entry into the small SUV segment, the Captur, racked up sales of 377 units. It should be noted, they are playing in an extremely crowded market with some 35 different models, and 121 variants, competing for sales supremacy. There's not a lot between this pair. The Citroen C4 Cactus exclusive we have on test is priced at $30,190 plus on road costs. That is, to be honest, an XXI proposition when compared to segment leaders from Mitsubishi and Mazda both of which offer similar driver trains for far less money. The Mitsubishi ASX in FWD form with a 2.0-litre petrol engine is priced at an even $25,000, plus on road costs, while Mazda's CX-3 Neo with FWD and 2.0-litre petrol motor costs just $20,490 plus on roads. The Renault Capture entrance here is the top spec variant in the Capture range, priced at $30,990 driver way. There are cheaper captures available, with the 0.9 liters Zen starting at just $23,990 and the slightly more powerful 1.2 liters Zen available from $26,990. The Renault and Citroen approach their respective interiors in different ways. Whereas the Renault errs on the side of conservatism, the Cactus has gone all out matching its edgy exterior with an equally funky cabin. There's nothing outstanding or remarkable about the Capture's cabin. It's all nice and modern enough, if a little bland. If it wasn't for the Renault Diamond logo emblazoned on the steering wheel, you could be sitting in a Toyota, high and I or Mazda. The heated front seats are firm and comfortable while, interestingly, the front passenger seat features isofix anchor points to complement the two in the back, without, as already mentioned, airbag protection. There are some ergonomic quirks, such as the volume controls for the, rather excellent optional Bose, sound system being located on a stalk behind the steering wheel, which, if you are of a height of around 177 centimeters, like me, is totally out of eyesight. It's annoying. Renault's Link infotainment system is a mixed bag, offering excellent Bluetooth streaming but only compatible with Android Auto. Yep, no Apple CarPlay for the capture. You do get get DAB plus digital radio though, and the satellite navigation, once fired up, is commendable. Although, after aborting one entered trip, it took about 10 minutes to find the function to cancel the route guidance, which meant the capture persisted in trying to navigate me to the destination I no longer needed. Remove their respective skins and this French pair are remarkably similar. At the heart of the capture beats a 4-cylinder 1.2-litre petrol engine with outputs of 88 kilowatts at 4,900 revolutions per minute and 190 newton meters of torque peaking at 2,000 revolutions per minute. The Citroen, down a cylinder, albeit with the same displacement, loses out in the power stakes, extracting 81 kilowatts from its 1.2-litre three-cylinder petrol unit. However, the Cactus makes up for it in the torque stakes, with a far more satisfying 205 newton meters coming on song at a more user-friendly 1,500 revolutions per minute.